For weeks, the sounds of Willy Ortega's violin drew people to the streets of Caracas. Day after day, anti-government protesters gathered on the Francisco Fajardo Highway in the Venezuelan capital, calling for President Nicolas Maduro to step down. Many were inspired by the young musician who would often keep playing, even as police and protesters faced off in violent confrontations. And then, on the 24th of May, the music stopped. Ortega says a National Guard officer on a motorcycle had tried to snatch the violin from him, grabbing it by the strings. He'd dragged him along the ground instead and ruined Ortega's treasured violin. Video of his distress went viral, drawing attention not only to his loss, but to the weeks of discontent in Venezuela. That was just over a week ago. Now Ortega's back playing music after he was given a new violin. I know my music brings with it a sense of peace, and that's why I'll continue playing. I've been playing and I'll continue playing. I'll continue bringing music to the streets of Venezuela. Venezuela is caught in an economic and political crisis. Its oil-dependent economy is in tatters and it is struggling with hyperinflation and recession. More than two months of anti-government demonstrations have left more than 60 people dead and thousands more injured. Ortega's music has people back on the streets and, judging by the crowd, his music and his message seems to have struck a chord. Miriam Nahond, Al Jazeera.